Hey everyone, we are here at CES 2016. The show floor is open, everything's crazy. And I'm gonna give you a sense of some of the stuff that's going on in drones. Drones, wearables, VR. This behind me is Parrot's booth. Parrot's got a ton of drones, and this is the Disco drone. Their new one, it's a fixed wing drone. And it looks like a plane. It has quadcopter design inside. The difference between this and other plane drones is that this goes 15 miles an hour, can fly for 45 minutes, but if you stop controlling it, it's not gonna go zooming off into the distance. It goes into a circle mode and waits and hovers. And you can also command it or let it automatically come to you. And it's meant to be for beginners to use, so I don't end up landing this in a tree and not knowing where the heck my drone is. Uh, plus this can be controlled with an iPhone or VR, because of course, VR. And uh, you can put those headsets on and see through the camera that's mounted into the disco drone and see where it's going. So let me show you that, that's over here. Um, they only have demos set up because I wouldn't be able to fly this drone like through CES, maybe next year. Uh, but take a look at this, people are actually seeing what it looks like over at this booth. Someone's actually piloting it right over here. They're trying to demo pilot. Um, and that is, uh, that's, that's someone wearing the headset. So you can actually put it on. And that's what it's gonna feel like if you are piloting a drone in VR. Telepresence. It's the beginning of something that we're gonna see a lot more of. That's not all the drone, that's not all that Parrot has. They also have uh, agriculture. They have a flower pot, come check this out. Right over here, last year, Parrot had plants. The Parrot Pot, a self-irrigating system that would uh, be able to water your plant. That's finally gonna be coming out, and it's right over here. Plants at CES, do you ever see plants in this show in Las Vegas? No, you do not. The Parrot Pot. So there's a transparent one that actually shows you how it works, and it will actually self-water. Uh, it will recognize your plant's needs, care for your plant, and do it robotically. I could actually press this button and try watering it, and look at that. It's actually shooting water out now into the pot. Um, it fills up over here. The actual parrot pot will look like this. It's not transparent. Um, it uh, optimizes water efficiency. It will recognize more than 8,000 plants. Uh, to make sure that you're not overwatering your cactus or underwatering your exotic jungle plant, parrot pot. And there's a lot more at this show. In fact, right behind us, there are smartwatches. Huawei, which made one of the better Android Wear watches last year, Huawei watch, is trying to get a little more fancy, and we're seeing that as a trend this year, uh, women's watches. So Huawei watch is trying to bling these things out with a little bit more crystals and gold color. Huawei watch, um, it, it, we see this from Misfit, we're seeing this from Fitbit. Do, can these things be turned into jewelry? Would you buy them as jewelry? That's what everybody's banking on. Huawei is a huge up and comer in phones and in wearables, and um, we'll see if we can even find it. Where are the watches on this floor? I don't really know, but we can see four, they're deep in there, but you can see up here there's actually models that are wearing them. Parrot is one of a bunch of drone companies that are here. Uh, Parrot also has little, little tiny drones, but you can see this thing flying back up here at Disco. Uh, that's one of the big trends at the show. VR, uh, you're seeing a lot of companies throw VR at things to see if it'll stick. You got Oculus, you got HEC Vive, you got Samsung Gear VR, Google Cardboard, and you gotta be able to do fun things. The more robots and the more drones that we have that connect to VR, you might start to feel like you're going places in virtual reality. And I think that's a trend you're gonna see probably over the next year, two years, three years, or that people are gonna hope that you buy into. I wanna try flying this in Montclair actually and see what happens. So let's go check out over here and actually see if I can use, this. I wanna put this headset on my head. So check this out. See if we can put it on, wear one of these here, yeah, and uh, I don't even know how you'd set up that rig and actually be able to control that over here. Parrot also has a couple of other drones, you got the Bebop 2, these are quadcopters, you may know about these. Um, take a look over here, this is the Parrot Sky Controller. Now, 
This is what you would actually use to control it. You've got little, little rigs here and sticks. <laughs> this disco, the headset, let's see if I can actually get a chance to put this on here. Can I grab a, can I, can I put this on and give it a, give it a whirl? Give a second because, um, yeah? yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah that'd be great. So, so for a second, we actually put this on and uh, check this out. So you can actually see what you're looking at and then you put it on your head. And now you could actually move around and pilot it. This is a simulation. This is not the actual disco drone flying. But you can actually see what's happening when I'm moving around. I'm launching myself in the air. I'm flying. It's hovering. And it feels like a video game. This is a video game. But you actually would be piloting a real disco drone uh, in, in the, real, the real world if you were to try one of these things. Uh, so that's Disco Drone and VR in action. And that's what we're seeing right now at CES. Drones, a lot more to come at CES 2016. I'm Scott Stein, thanks for watching.